I think the drop in satisfaction from the survey is, is um, due to um, a lack of work, um, planning and design work coming through. I think, um, as you heard the presenter, Elsie Snayman, say, um, government is, is experiencing budget constraints and it's postponing and shelving um, contracts or infrastructure projects. The dissatisfaction is, is that there are lower, there is lower availability of projects than the engineers, the members originally anticipated in the previous survey. Our members um, get approximately 60% of their work from, um, from, from, from government and uh, if government does increase its budget allocation for projects, for infrastructure projects, then that dissatisfaction might, might um, reduce. Um, however, um, the 40 per cent that our member firms get, the 40 per cent spend on infrastructure from the private sector, um, that, that is also decreasing because of a lack of confidence. Um, from the international rating agencies and so forth. So we don't see that in expenditure increasing much. So I think at best that dissatisfaction level will bottom out and then slowly pick up again. But um, it's, a, it's a turnaround situation and I think the prospect for infrastructure in South Africa for the next three years is pretty gloomy. It's not a positive thing. So. That dissatisfaction level um, is not going to reduce quickly. Some of the issues we, we need to address um, are, are um, non-payment. And when we say non-payment, that means um, where the client doesn't pay consulting engineering firms for 90 days or more. Government, for instance, is sitting 30% of the bills outstanding um, for longer than 90 days to our members sit with government. 10% um, sits with the private sector and 60% sits with private, sorry, international firms, international clients, um, which is not really a local problem. But that, that, if we could improve, because many of our firms, member firms are very small firms, and they, they, they don't have the resources to tolerate delay in payments for 90 days. So, so that's one of the things we have to address in the future. The other big thing which we are addressing is training young engineers, graduates, um, giving them their experience, mentoring and coaching so that they can get their professional registration. And, um, and that's how we can improve the skills in, in our environment.